Right, hello everyone. What I wanted to do was to um, backtrack just a little bit because I forgot to do some um, converting decimals into fractions. It's part of page 30, um, asset exercise 2.5 decimals and fractions. What I wanted to do really was to um, just change to white, was just do a couple of these um, decimals to fractions. So let's start off straight away. Um, we've got <coughs> um, 0.23. Well, if you remember your rules for back in key stage 3, we've got um, two figures after the point. So we're going to go 23 hundredths, that's a tenth, that's a hundredth. So it's 23 over 100, right? So tenths, hundredths, so there's 23 hundredths, 23 over 100. Next one, we've got 0 0.3, but there's only one figure after the spot. So that's just going to be 3 over 10, easy peasy. Uh, 0.2, just bash through this quite quickly because it's not very hard at all. That'll be 2 over 10. It doesn't ask you to simplify it, but you know, let's just practice that. 1 over 5, and again halving it down as before. Um, 0.35, that's going to be 35 over 100. Um, it doesn't ask you to simplify it, but we will to do it. Now, if you divide top and bottom by 5, um, as you can see, 5 goes into 35. Um, seven times, five goes into a hundred, twenty times. We got, we got twenty. So over twenty. Um, over here we got 0 0.09, uh, not nine tenths. That made it a little bit better, but in fact nine over one hundred, because we have got um, two um, decimal places there. So that's tenths. That's hundredths. We have nine hundredths. Uh, that's boring, we'll do this next one, we go 0 0.77, that's going to be 77 out of 100, because we have two decimal places there, so we have tenths and hundredths, so, so we've got 77 hundredths, and the last one, I do it up here, um, 0 0.127, we've got three figures, so we're going to go 127 over 1000, because we go tenths, hundredths, Thousandths again, a lot easier to write than to say. Um, I don't think that can be simplified. If you can find a way, then do let me know. Uh, but I don't think it can be done. Um, while I've got some space here, I think I'll do a question also on the same page. So we're looking at page um, 30. Again, this is uh, grade D stuff, and um, it's quite a nice question actually. So I'm going to try and do this one with you and then just sign off as, as done the entire topic and there's nothing more in the assess to do so I'm quite happy just to move on right in a school in a school fate this is question four in a school fate some children decided to raise money with the guess the weight of the cake competition I don't suppose they get to keep it and eat it but anyway guessing it is you know reward enough so Hannah guessed so what Hannah guessed so Hannah guessed 2.17 kilograms I don't know why any normal person will try and go to two decimal places when they're actually guessing you know the rough you know weight of a cake but anyway um, Hannah's like that I suppose now this guy called Jack he guessed two and three fifths of a kilogram so that's Hannah give her an H and that's Jackie give him a, a J um, the actual weight I put here the, the true weight so you can see it all together was it actually this 2.45 kilograms and the question says who whose guess was closest to the real weight well that's in decimals that's in decimals um, Hannah well she's close but need to decode Jack now 2 is 2 uh, 3 fifths is basically 6 tenths that will enable you to see 6 tenths being 0 0.6 so altogether 2.6 let's bring Hannah down um, 2.17 and we'll bring Jack down here so not Jack, the true weight down here as 2.45 now here's a trick I showed you earlier from a previous video let's fill up with zeros so it looks all nice and clear so I've got 2.60 I've got 2.45, which is the real one. Give that a tick there. That's what, we look, that's what we're looking for. And 2.17. Now, quite hard to see which is closer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try Jack's one. Well, Jack did an overestimate. If I go 2.60, take away 2.45, Jack was over by 
0.15. So he's over by 0.15. Now I do a similar calculation for Hannah. Now she was did an underestimate, so I'm gonna put 2.45 there first, because it's the bigger number. And I'll subtract Hannah's 2.17. From 17 to 45, we have 20. Yeah, 20, what's that? 28, so it's 0 0.28. Let's just check that. Yeah, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.38 plus 2, yeah, 0.45. So Hannah was 0 0.28 under. Um, Jack was, is Jack, yeah, Jack was 0 0.15 over, therefore Jack was closer. All right? Jack was closer. Well done, Jack. Now we'll give him, we'll draw him a little cake, shall we? So here we go, a little cake for Jack. That's like the base. Um, there we go. Stick a little candle in it. It's a bit like a ship. Anyway, that's all the, the little hundreds of thousands of pretty little colours there. So Jack takes the cake. See the, the better estimate. So well done, Jackie. All right. So I just want to sign it off as done. Put it down here somewhere. So, Mr. C, and that really does finish off um, chapter two of decimals.